Hey guys, Dave and Ashley Willis here with Marriage Today. I want to talk to you today for just a couple minutes about one of the biggest issues couples face, and it's this idea of unmet needs. It's when one spouse feels like my needs aren't being met, my emotional needs, my sexual needs, whatever the need might be, and just how do you deal, how do you deal with that? That's right. You know, we do. We hear from so many couples where this is the case. And, you know, a lot of times we talk about, you know, men not having their sexual needs met. But there are a lot of times where it's the wife whose sexual needs and emotional needs are not being met. And I would say in this case, you know, first first of all, we've got to talk about these things. Yeah. You know, we can't expect our spouse to know how we feel and just read our minds. We need to bring it out into the open. So if and you're by talking, not just not just complaining or nagging or accusing, oh, exactly. but saying yes. a real dialogue of this is what I feel, this is what I need. Right, exactly, because we do have to be specific with our needs. And so if a wife is watching this and you're thinking, you know, I don't know the last time we had sex and, and my husband doesn't seem interested, you know, instead of just kind of making the moves and expecting him to read your mind, you know, go and talk to him. Don't complain, like Dave said, and say, you know, sweetie, I really just need you. I need you, you know, I need you to be there for me. And I feel like we're not kind of being intimate with each other and we're not connecting in that way and I want to know what's wrong. And husbands, you know, if your wife comes to you in that moment, be honest with her. Be honest about how you're feeling. Be honest about what you're going through. And maybe, you know, maybe it's porn. You know, we talk very openly about sometimes guys will go meet their need with porn. And if that's the case, that needs to stop and you need to, first of all, confess it to your wife. Maybe you're going through some kind of medical issue. You know, if that's the case, you need to confess it to your wife and then go get help. And be honest about these things. Yeah, ask, but getting to the root cause of, of why why isn't this need being met? Right. Sometimes it's it's an act of selfishness, but sometimes it's it's not something that someone has done wrong. Right. There's another another cause, whether it be medical or something else. But communicate about these things. Yeah. And if you start with communication and you assume the best of each other instead of the worst, it's going to set you off on the right path where both of your needs can be met. And we hope that that, that, that one little thought kind of helps spark some new conversations in your marriage. You can continue the conversation with us at marriagetoday.com.